Melanie Beckler here with our Ascension Angel Card reading. So we're going to use the Ascension Angel Cards to tune into the love, guidance, healing frequency, and insight available to us now from the higher realms of love, spirit, and from the angels. So at this time, I invite you to join me in shifting your awareness within. Focus inward on your heart center, allowing your heart to open and allowing your awareness to enter in as I now ask that we each be surrounded with divine light and love with our teams of guides, angels, and ascended masters of the highest Christed light enter in, connect with us now as individuals together as one and with me through the Oracle cards, what will most serve. I now just shuffle light into the cards, looking for the right cards to appear. One, two, three. Okay. Our first card, we have the card of synchronicity. This is a reminder to pay attention to the fact that you are making meaningful progress forward on your path. Pay attention to where things are coming into alignment to where synchronicity is appearing, recognizing that those meaningful coincidence and synchronicities are guidance, are reminders that you are in line with divine time and that things are unfolding in your life according to divine will. I'm also getting the impression that this card is about puzzle pieces, that this time is a time where you're gathering pieces to the puzzle, gathering insight, gathering skills, gathering soul wisdom, past life memories, partnerships, opening doors of opportunity. This is a time where what you need is coming online so that you can continue to make meaningful progress in the direction of your highest soul truth, your divine mission, your true life purpose and reason for being here as a divine being in form. So pay attention to the signs and synchronicities and remember that with presence, with your heart open and becoming fully present and aware in the moment, all of life is able to offer you guidance. Every encounter, every situation, every object in your surrounding, everything holds guidance, insight, a new perspective that can assist you in staying on your highest tra trajectory. So presence, is how you become aware of the synchronicities that will continue to unfold as you progress along your highest path. I'm really, I was just drawn to the spiral nature of this card. So remember that you're not on a linear path of growth. It's not a straight line, it's a spiral path. And so don't freak out or don't worry if you feel like past lessons, past scenarios or situations or even relationship dynamics are coming up again now. You're not repeating the past, you're at a new level of the spiral. So as you spiral up, you have an opportunity to learn lessons you perhaps stumbled on at the spiral down or to integrate and to prove you've learned that lesson by responding in a new way and thereby claiming your power of that lesson, of that synchronicity in the moment. Our second card is Download Divine Love. And with this card, the angels want to remind you that there is a higher level of love that's awaiting you and that's possible for you. And regardless of whether you are in a romantic relationship or not, there's an opportunity to go within, to open your heart and to let your energy lift, to tune into the golden light along your core, your divine I am column. Let that golden light 
ground to the earth below you and link to the infinite light of divine above when you create this link when you step into your truth as the bridge between heaven and earth you're able to download the true divine love available to you in every moment the true divine love of the infinite that is the ultimate force of healing of manifestation of knowledge, of wisdom, the true divine love available in every moment, this is a call to tune into it, to let it shine down upon you, to pour in to your central I am core, to illuminate your core with love and through love to open the doors for a higher level of your divine truth and your I am presence to fill you and to flow through you. So connecting with a higher level of divine love is about your embodiment and choosing to step up and step into that love energetically and then consciously and mentally and logically choose to love you, take care of you. Check out my video on self-love for some ideas and strategies about how you can shift into self-love. Lean into the present moment, keep your heart open and let love flow throughout your being. And if you do find that lower emotions of wanting, of attachment, of disappointment around relationships, around love are arising, let that emotion circulate through you. Don't try to hold on to it. Don't tense up and try to bury it. Just let it pass through. And through that, you're able to return to love and relink with the love of the infinite that's always available and is simply a perspective shift away. Our third card is what's possible when you lean into the present moment with love and when you allow the infinite love of the divine to flow through you, and that is your awakened creativity. Specifically, this is about receiving clarity as to how you can continue to transform and then use your transforming nature, use your light and anchor it in the physical world through your creations, through your actions, to what you're birthing and bringing forth into the physical, as a physical being who is embodying more of your divine truth and higher light. Remember that keeping lightness in your heart, a playful attitude, don't take things too seriously. Don't take yourself too seriously or your mission too seriously. Remember that it can be fun and joyful and blissful and that joyful, blissful, loving nature is the truth of your inner divine being. So the more you're able to cultivate that consciously, the more you naturally align with your highest authenticity and that lightness, that joy, that love brings you into the flow with new ideas and inspirations that are available now in an abundant supply and that will, when acted upon, help you to align with the true abundance, fulfillment, the relationships, the joy that's possible for you in your life. Listen to your inner guidance and take action to anchor your creativity into the physical to continue to flow with life, gathering the puzzle pieces, taking action, and making progress. Let's draw a bonus card from the Oracle of the Angels. Okay, so we had two cards pop out for our bonus. And interesting, they are health and awakening. So reading this together as one card, because that is how it came out, is a reminder to recognize that these two things are tied the growth and conscious advancement and awakening helps bring about true vibrant health and well-being. And on the other side, nurturing your physical body, taking care of your vessel, treating yourself right, making your physical health and your physical well-being a priority leads to further awakening and expansion and embodying more of your divine light 
So remember that although you're working on spiritual growth and development, although ascension is very real and is what you're happening now, and although it is incredible to receive the higher light of spirit, and that is a huge part of your purpose, of what you're working on now, of blossoming into the truth of your divine spiritual being, it's also so important to honor your humanity, honor your physical expression, take care of your physical body and recognize that sometimes the higher levels of light have a way of bringing up buried emotions, traumas, tensions held in the physical vessel, in the physical form. When you notice these blockages, breathe light into them, breathe a joyful, loving, happy, smiling energy into areas that you feel blocked, but also step up the self-love and care, contemplating on the question, how can I bring more peace to my physical being? How can I bring more peace to my physical body? And to me, that's a message about decompressing from the chaotic electromagnetic digital world that we all spend so much time in and connecting with nature, grounding to the earth, being present in the moment and through that presence, tuning into your body and asking, how can I help you to align with more peace and joy and vibrant well-being? And then pay attention to that. Maybe it's time to detox. Maybe it's time to move. And really, that, that is a big thing. I just got a big confirmation on that. There are new levels of light, expanded consciousness, downloads of divine love coming in. Help your body in integrating the higher light by moving, by exercising, by jumping, by stretching, by running, by walking, by hiking, by moving the physical form is going to be helpful in integrating the highest levels of light and tuning, and tuning into the true peace and love of your highest divine being, anchoring that into your life now. So there's a picture of that, anchoring that into your life and letting yourself send out waves of love and peace far beyond you. So have a beautiful week, reconnect with the highest levels of divine love and let love flow through. I love and appreciate you. Subscribe here on YouTube if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up and then I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.